let's start off with a crock pot add a liner and let's make spaghetti squash so it looks like this you can get it at normal grocery stores it doesn't have to be a specialty store you're gonna add a cup to a cup and a half of water depending on how long you're gonna be at work today and you want to stab the spaghetti squash with a fork similar to the way you would do a baked potato so I'm just gonna kind of roll it and stab it in random fun spots this is a really good way to get your morning aggression out if the kids were a pain getting on the bus today or if you know you've got a client on your schedule that frustrates you just get all that aggression out now we're going to take the spaghetti squash and throw it in the slow cooker and we're going to let that go while we're at work today cooking on low once your spaghetti squash is finished, which it will be by the time you get home from work, you pull it out of the crock pot, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes to cool off just a bit, and then cut it in half and scoop the seeds out. They kind of look like pumpkin seeds. You can throw those out for the bird or put them in your compost or whatever your preference is for that. And once you have all the seeds scooped out, you're ready to start making the spaghetti part of the spaghetti squash. So just grab a fork and literally just pull the fork through the squash. And as you can see, it's shaped like spaghetti, hence spaghetti squash. You can top it with your favorite sauce, whether it be a meat sauce, a red sauce, a cheese sauce, butter, etc. And as nail tech, since we sit all day, this is a nice low carb option to still have the choice of spaghetti without helping add to our sitting posteriors. <laughs> Hope this helps and it's a fun idea for being slightly healthy.